never worn an outfit this nice i'm really excited to bring back wedding vlogs it makes my lips look 10 times bigger i just got ready super fast my banana bread is all done there's like sugar on the rim so cute they look so good he's my cat he's a bengal but it's like a shocket so I nice. River Island. I am trying on outfits for the wedding. I'm oh, wearing it in a job. Oh, guys, it looks like we're in America. We are. Hi, guys. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to Ramadan vlog number three. I can't believe we're on number three already. If I move the camera up, you'll see that I have a roller in my hair. So I'm just going to keep it down here. Oh, by the way, if you're wondering where I am, I've been staying at my grandma's house the last few days. But yes, last day I'm staying. I am filming a very exciting video, basically off ASOS. I went through every single modest dress and I found all the ones that were really nice under a hundred pounds and I'm gonna do a big haul so it's kind of like an Eid slash modest summer dresses haul and all the dresses are literally beautiful so I'm just getting ready for that now and then I'm gonna film it and then pack up my stuff and leave but yeah quite an exciting week this week it's gonna be more of a girly vlog like more like get ready with me outfits stuff like that so i might have to do a ramadan vlog for which i didn't think i would do but we'll we'll see um you guys seem to be liking them so far so that's good i'm gonna get ready quickly and then i will show you guys my makeup okay guys i just got finished filming the asos eid outfits like lookbook type of thing so if you guys want to check that out please go watch it i had so much fun filming it i'm not going to show you this dress because i want everything to be like a surprise so you're gonna have to just go over to that video and watch it i need to clean all of this mess up it's a wednesday today and i didn't really vlog yesterday much just because i wanted to focus on filming the eid lookbook but yeah if you haven't yet go watch that it should be up i've started editing it that's what i've been doing today and i'm going to an iftar today with my friend we're all making something and bringing it to her house but i'll talk about that later i just wanted to show you guys the skincare that i've been using lately just because i feel like i haven't been wearing that much makeup recently my skin you know it's not the best right now but i've really been liking these products i just wanted to share them with you guys so the first one is the estee lauder advanced night repair serum I've wanted this for years it is like the most hyped serum honestly it lives up to the hype i wear it at night i notice that my skin looks so much better in the morning it looks more plump and like glowy almost which i love and i like to just pat it into my skin the next thing i use is the ren brightening eye dark circle is it eye dark brightening dark circle eye cream as you can see i have very bad under eyes i don't really buy that these products like lighten your under eyes but the reason i like this is because it's such a thick cream i always forget you're meant to do it on your ring finger you literally need let me show you that much my under eyes feel very rehydrated every time i put this under my eyes so yeah that's why i'm really enjoying it normally i don't really buy into like eye creams when i was younger i had very watery eyes so my eyes were just watering like 24 7 and i didn't know that you weren't you like your under eyes are like a sensitive area so i just used to like be rubbing my eyes 24 7 and now i have like um little wrinkles under my eyes and yeah i wish someone had told me sooner to be more gentle with your under eye area and then for the last step i just use the ren overnight glow dark spot sleeping cream again i'm very picky with creams because i have very dry skin so it needs to be very moisturizing for me to be using it because i have tried creams in the past where i put it on and like it's absorbed in like one second and my skin feel feels dry like after using it and i don't like that so this is how much i use but yeah that is it i just like to keep it very simple and my face feels so moisturized right now and then obviously can't forget lips i use this carmex one in my last vlog i made banana bread and so many people were commenting and dming me saying that they want a recipe so i'm gonna give you the banana bread recipe guys if you make this you have to send it me i love seeing people like recreate things that i show you guys like even if it's like buying clothes that i mentioned anyway um yeah let's go make banana bread that's what i'm taking to henna's house tonight and i'm taking patties as well I'm doing the least. Neha's making like a three course meal for us and I'm so excited. I'll tell you what she's making after, but 
I'm so excited. And just before I go down into the kitchen, I was contemplating what to wear out of these two. Um, and I put a poll up on my Instagram and everyone's leaning towards this one. I just love how colorful they are and I just wanted to have like a pop of color. And I always love wearing pink. I have this debutta on this, but I can wear it with this one as well because the pink's the same. Um, so yeah, I will give you an a little TD after. This is a little poll I put up on my Instagram. Okay, follow me on Instagram, I like posting stories. I just posted my skin care on there as well. So I'm in the kitchen now and I've gotten all the stuff out that I need to make for the banana bread and I'm just gonna do a voiceover. Before I do that, I just wanted to show you how the jars ended up looking. If you came from, if you watched the first Ramadan vlog, um, I showed buying these jars for my mom for her spice cupboard and she's filled them all up and they look so good. And if you didn't watch the first one of the vlog, these are Mrs. Hinch's jars from Tesco. And they're really cute. They have like little hearts at the top. Okay guys, I'm going to give you my famous banana bread recipe. Before you start anything, make sure you preheat your oven to 180 degrees Celsius. And now I'll get into the ingredients. So you want to start by sifting 285 grams of plain flour. To the same bowl of flour, you can add one teaspoon of bicarbonate of soda, half a teaspoon of salt and then in a separate bowl you're going to measure out 225 grams of caster sugar and to the same bowl you can add 110 grams of butter. Now moving on to our wet ingredients you're going to want four ripe bananas which just means that they have brown spots all over them this means that they're much sweeter. I actually use five because my bananas were quite small but I just get a fork and mash them up. Once that's done you're going to want to get yourself two free range eggs and yes I was watching Molly May's new home vlogs whilst I was doing this. And then the recipe calls for 85 milliliters of buttermilk but if you don't have buttermilk like i mean i never have it so i just use normal milk mixed with one and a half teaspoons of vinegar and it works fine then i just pour the bananas eggs and buttermilk into one bowl and add one teaspoon of vanilla extract so just to recap i have plain flour bicarbonate of soda and salt in one bowl then in the other bowl i have my caster sugar and butter and then in the third bowl, I have the eggs, bananas, buttermilk and vanilla extract. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is whisk your butter and sugar together until it's light and fluffy. Go ahead and add your wet ingredients. So the banana, eggs, vanilla extract and buttermilk. After that is all whisked together, you're going to want to add your flour, bicarbonate of soda and salt in gradually. So what this means is add a bit in, whisk it and then add the next bit in. Okay, so this is what your mixture should end up looking like. You can add whatever you want in at this point. I always add chocolate chips in and then you're going to want to pour it into your pan. And I normally make two small batches with this mixture and then put it into your oven. And the recipe says for about like 60 minutes, but I normally do it for... 45 to 50 minutes so just keep checking on it so my banana bread is all done this one looks so cute i put walnuts on it which i don't normally do but i think it looks so cute and then this one's a bit burnt um i hope it tastes okay inside i did the knife check and it was all good so we'll see hey guys i just got ready super fast so i didn't film it but hopefully i'm going out again tomorrow so i'll try and film a little makeup look for you guys um but yeah i'm really excited love my outfit and patties are in the oven i'm gonna take them out and then i'm gonna go get her some flowers and double cream for the banana bread and then i will be going to her house but i just thought i'll show you my outfit first so this was picked out by you guys on instagram so thanks for helping me out and this is the outfit it's really cute it's very old i think it's from I don't remember. I'll put it in the description box. I'm wearing this necklace from Masoma. And then I've got these two bangles on from Kate Spade. And then my rings, as always, are from Monica Vinida. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to head out now. Yes, I'm at Hannah's. It's Hen, thank you. Look at these drinks she made. Wait, I'll show mine. I haven't drank mine yet. <laughs> it's got a little umbrella on it. And she's put, what's that sugar, yeah, Hannah? Yeah. There's like sugar on the rim. Looks so cute and near heart. She's made the chicken wings. <laughs> so they look so good. I literally just had so many. And then we she made butter chicken <laughs> and <laughs> Hannah made that samosa chart. I love it when you put a naan in it. It's Doesn't so it taste so good? And then what's over here? I want to show you dates. And then she's got some cream filled dates. And she made little place cards. And where did you get this for? 
Oh, it's so cute. Shop in Manchester Park. No way. Ooh. So They have loads of Eid decorations. I think it's part of their Eid range, but I didn't say Eid on it, so I bought it. Oh, there you go. That's cute. Love it. Hey guys, I'm <laughs> gonna taste test mm. the nails wing. Oh, cheers. Oh my gosh, look at that. Oh my god, that looks so good. It's That's like so glossy. Wow. Bye, Neha. Huh? Bye, me. 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 In fact, Zara doesn't like milk cake. No, but I'm gonna eat it. That's, show them your plate. That is not, that's just cream with a little crumb cake. <laughs> yeah, but if I like it, then I'll have more. Okay, I'm gonna be watching. <laughs> can, you, can you put yeah, the milk on mine? Or... I'll put a little bit, because I know you don't like soggy. Okay, hi guys. Oh no, I'm looking in the viewfinder. Okay, hi guys. It's Hannah and I'm at my iftar, which they've just gone quiet for some reason. But um, Ramadan Mubarak to you all. I haven't seen you since we were in the Peak District. That's really fun. I missed that so much. But yeah, I hope you're all having really nice um, Ramadan and yeah. Um, before I go, this is my cat Mango. Ooh. This is Mango. He's my cat. He's a Bengal. He's a bit crazy, but he's really nice. Okay, bye. So it is the next day today, it's Thursday. I'm going to an iftar with my friends today. We are going out to eat. It's this restaurant in Manchester called Walnut. I think it's on Wormser Road, but I've been before and the food was really, really nice. So I'm excited to go again and eat. I think, oh, I don't know what cuisine is. I think it's Arabic, but I could be wrong. Maybe it's Persian. I don't know. I'll ask one of my friends when we get there. I'm getting ready super early. So I have like an hour to get ready. Do like a bit more of a makeup segment. Because I just, I feel like that's really cute and girly. Like just sitting down and doing my makeup and talking to you guys. So my face, I always drench it in oil. I have very dry skin and I've been using the same face oil for years and years and years. Um, it's the Dr. Organic Vitamin E Pure Oil. You can get it from Holland and Barrett or you can get it from Amazon. It's super cheap. It just hydrates my skin really nicely and I like using it as a base. I'm going to use my favourite um, concealer. I'm never going to stop using this. It's the NARS Pot Concealer Medium 2 in Ginger. And then I just get this fat brush and dip it in there. I have trouble sleeping and I have really bad dark under eyes so this really helps. As you can see literally it erases your under eyes. I can't believe we're like two weeks into Ramadan already. Like nearly two weeks, that is crazy, it's gone so fast. And my Eid outfit actually came, was it yesterday? But it's so cute, I've gone very simple, it's very plain. I'm really excited to wear it, I normally have quite dressy Eid outfits, so this is a bit different. I just remember last Eid, there was a heat wave and it was boiling and we were all just sat there and like, you know when you're in like overly dressy Asian outfits and it's boiling hot, it's so gross. But yeah, this one's very casual and I like it also really exciting one of my outfits for i told you guys i have loads of weddings coming up this summer and one of my outfits just arrived i got it off zinnia couture and it's gobble malik and it's actually beautiful it's stunning and i've never worn an outfit this nice and i cannot wait to wear it i got it like stitched so like i could try it on and everything and i'm so excited to show you guys i've been doing this thing where i conceal around my brows first and then fill them in later because then I can just see where I need they need filling and then I don't overly fill them if that makes sense. This is the Born This Way Tooth Too Faced Born This Way Multi Sculpting Concealer and I actually changed my colour. I'm now natural beige and it's a much better fit that for me. And I thought they discontinued this and I was so scared because I love this concealer. It's such a nice brightening concealer, but they bought it back. They came out with an announcement on Instagram saying, she's back. Back to the wedding talk. And we have a Mendy two weeks after Ramadan. We should have practiced loads of dances, but obviously it's Ramadan. We're not gonna do dance practice in Ramadan. But we have no dances and it's very stressful. But yeah, I'm really excited to bring back wedding vlogs. This summer they'll be back in full swing and I can't wait for you guys to watch them. Oh, by the way, I'm showing you guys like my full coverage base routine. So if you think I'm going a bit crazy, 
it's because I'm going for like a flawless look and it's amazing like my makeup does not budge when I use this technique um so I've just put the multi sculpt concealer on my eyelids as a base for my eyeshadow and then I put some on the inner corners of my eyes and the outer corners and then just some on like my cheekbones and then as if I need more layers by the way I haven't blended out my NARS concealer yet it's all just sat on top of each other I look so weird um, and then I'm gonna use the Estee Lauder double wear that's in the shade Rattan oh there we go so I did buy the pump for it you have to buy the pump separate which is so weird but um I was like traveling a lot so I had to put the lid back on it and it's so weird because you have to buy this pump separate but then the lid doesn't fit on top of the pump so that's weird I just kind of you know put this everywhere um and then I blend it all out with a beauty blender but stay put because I'm going to show you what powders I use on top which just take it to the next level So that's everything blended. It's such a flawless finish. I love it. I wish it could just stay like that without powder, but obviously we have to set everything in place. And if you are gonna buy one expensive makeup product, it needs to be this one. It is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. Mine's super beaten up, as you can see. I've got that much left, and this is like my third one. I hate repurchasing makeup. Morphe brush, just a little powder brush, and I scrape what's left out, tap it, I don't go like that. Under my eyes is the important bit because that's where my makeup creases first. Oh no, it's breaking. I just raved about it and now it's breaking, great. Oh, did I mention the iftar yesterday at Henna's house? That was so fun. I had such a nice time and the food was amazing. Now I made butter chicken and wings. I had about seven wings, I'm not even joking, it was so good. Um, and then how cute was all the decorations, like she made place cards. Really good time. Now that I've put the powder everywhere, as you can see, everything's very matte. I also filled in my eyebrows with black eyeshadow, by the way. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of my eye makeup, and then I'll show you the next powder I use, because I use a powder to bake as well. And I used to use the Laura Mercier powder, but I've changed it and I think I prefer this one. And I'll show you my lip combo. I always forget to show you guys my lip combo, but I get so many comments about it. Okay, so I need to hurry up because I'm going to be late. But I just finished doing my eye makeup. I did a super smoky black wing and then I just did brown like eyeshadow. Um, but I'm going to set it now with the Huda Beauty baking powder and I have the shade Banana Bread. I used to bake wrong. This is how much product I use now. It's a lot but honestly it works so I put this under my eyes. Basically I follow this girl on Instagram and she said you need to connect baking from your cheekbone to your lip so that's how I do it now. I've looked crazy this whole makeup routine but I'm gonna leave that for a bit while I talk you through my lip my lip products that I use. So for lip liner, I use the it's the NYX lip pencil in Urban Cafe. I love this, it's so super dark. Then for lipstick, I use this. I just recently got this. It's the NYX suede lipstick in Free Spirit. I actually love this. That's what it looks like on my lips. And then for the main event, I use the Charlotte Tilbury lip gloss. I love this. I actually love this. It's the Walk of No Shame lip gloss and just look how good it looks. It makes my lips look 10 times bigger. Kind of just pat this off. I don't dust it off and that is my final look. I'm going to get ready really quickly and then show you guys my outfit because it's 7 o'clock already and I need to get ready. I did another Instagram poll because all my friends are wearing a bias and I really wanted to join in. So I did an Insta poll asking which Abaya I should wear. It's like a red and a beige one. Um, everyone said the beige one, so I'm gonna go with that. And I need to charge my camera, of course. I always do. Oh my god! I'm wearing a job. I just felt like because we were wearing Abaya's, it just made sense. But I don't know. It looks so different. You look, you look really pretty much. No, you look like. Oh yeah. If you're 
you're new to my channel, I used to wear hijab. Hey, we are at a place called Walnut and we just ordered our food. So like a mixed grill. Fine, I did. Yeah, like a little bit. Our drinks are here. We got mint mojitos and then I got a strawberry one. And then we got these like pickled. I pickle veg for starter. This is our food. I don't know what to say about it. Oh wait guys, it's Iranian food. Because I didn't know before but now I know. Okay guys, we just finished our meal and it was so good. Guys, did you like the food? Yeah. yeah. I can't like, definitely recommend it. I look it. so different with the star. Anyway, we're on our way to get Starbucks and Krispy Kreme now, so I'll vlog that as well. And I didn't do a full outfit of the day. So I'm going to She's vlogging <laughs> and you just keep that in Zara. That was Kinza, everyone's no, favorite. No, you didn't. You that, oh, that. guys, it looks like we're in America. We are. Maybe oh, one yeah. day. We are. This is your LA vlog. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hi, guys. Welcome to Krispy Kreme. Just to let you know, it is powder, That's fine, thank you. So, I got a vanilla latte with oat milk. Kinza, what did you get? I got a uh, oh, caramel, caramel latte with extra caramel drizzle. Do you want to be in it, your face? Yeah, I, I got a caramel latte yeah. and a blueberry muffin to share with my friends. <laughs> That's really. Did she ever say, guys? <laughs> I said it to me. She said it to me. Hi, guys. So I'm back home now, and I realized I didn't show you my outfit before I left, but I actually love it. If you're wondering why I have a headscarf on, it's because we all decided to wear a bias today, and I just thought it looked a bit strange with my hair out. Not that there's anything wrong with it, but I just wanted to like put a hijab on, and I felt like Ramadan was a good time to do it. So, um,. Yeah, I'm not doing it as like a fashion statement or anything before anyone jumps to that conclusion. I just felt like putting it on. Anyway, um, I felt really cute and I'm glad because, mashallah, alhamdulillah, most of my friends wear it so I felt really comfortable. The abaya, I'm gonna ask Mari where it's from. Hold on, I'll show you. Um, It's just all beige and then underneath I wore just a white long sleeve top and jeans. You can't really see the jeans, um, but I just thought it looked really cute. And then I paired it with a dark brown hijab and then got my normal jewelry on that I'm always wearing. Anyway, I had coffee so I feel really awake so I feel like I'm gonna do a bit of editing instead of going to bed just because I feel like I've had coffee and if I get into bed I'm just not gonna sleep so I might as well be productive and I need to drink water. I've been so bad with drinking water in Ramadan so I'm just gonna put a glass of water on my desk so whilst I'm editing I can drink it. But yeah, I don't think this is the end of the Ramadan vlog. I might keep it going, I don't know, I feel like I've not got a lot of footage. I'll see you tomorrow, I guess. Hi guys, I look really scary right now. I literally just finished crying. Before I tell you why I was crying, I just went to Throwy and then I was editing the ASOS, like, Eid lookbook try on haul type of thing and it's finished and I really like how it looks and I was going through my DMs and someone said that I was mentioned in a BBC series. And I was like, what? It's called I've Been There. You can watch it on BBC iPlayer. Dina Tokyo like hosts it. And they're talking about online bullying and stuff like that. And they're asking this girl. She's so cute. They're asking her like, oh, like, who are your favorite bloggers? And she goes, Dina Tokyo and Zara Zara. They basically raised me. And, I, and Dina Tokyo watches it. And I just can't. Like, that is crazy to me. Like, first of all, that is so sweet to say that I've raised someone that's crazy to think that um and it's just the fact that i have bloggers that i've watched that i would say have like raised me and the fact that i've done that for someone else is literally mental and i literally started crying because i don't know it feels so surreal but it was really cool and yeah it's friday today but i didn't vlog this is the only little vlog part section from friday it's 2 31 a.m and is there any point of sleeping because we have to be up at like four so i might just stay up and edit this vlog okay i just want to tell you guys about that and i just want to say um thank you for always supporting me and thank you for all your lovely comments 
I really appreciate it and I really don't take it for granted like I'm honestly so grateful I'm being so emotional because it's like 2 30 a.m. so like all my emotions are out right so it's a Saturday today it is so sunny outside I'm so excited I've got my little sundress on and I'm going to Trafford Center with my mom and Shafa my mom has a few returns to do so just tagging along I've got a few things I need to rebuy like my powder oh I should have made a list I've literally forgotten oh well I want to show you my outfit because it's cute and yeah we love a little Trafford Centre vlog I feel like I'm always in Trafford Centre you guys have seen me wear this before a few times I got this from Misguided a few years ago it used to fit me a lot better now it's a bit baggy um but it's like this really pretty tiered dress and then these gold hoops which are from Primark like my hair was greasy so there's not much I could do with it I think I like it in a bun for this look and I'm just gonna wear my Chloe bag and I will vlog when I'm there I'll get Shafa to do an outfit of the day I always forget to make her to do an outfit of the day we're in Trafford Centre oh, it's so know. busy because it's bank is it the bank holiday weekend oh, yeah. so eat cake so we're looking at the new coach bag. They're really cute for summer. Well, I was looking at that coral That one. blue's nice as well. Hold on. Oh, this one. This. No, no, wait, hold this. The only thing about this is the hardware, it's black. It's black it's oh, yeah. Black. It is black. I don't know. I didn't know that. So, Zara's trying on, I think it's Coach New Collection. I really like it. It looks so good on you. It's like the perfect size. I feel like we're always in here trying And you could wear it cross body as well, Zara. Very cute. I think it's a good size. So they recently opened a H&M home in Trafford Centre. And we're just looking at it. It's gorgeous. Oh, I love that. I want that. Yeah, let's go. Guys, we're back from Trapper Center now, but I promised you I would do Shuffle's outfit of the day. The Talk Us Through outfit. I'm wearing, it's not a co-ord, it's um, a separate, the jacket's from, well it's like a shocket, but I tied the belt like this because I feel like it looks cooler. Yeah, it does look waist, cool. Because yeah. it has like belt loops. Oh yeah, that looks yeah. so much cooler. Because yeah, I got a medium and it was a lot bigger than yeah. I thought it would be. These jeans are actually like the perfect match yeah i thought it was a set is. no the jeans are from monkey oh very cool and then, and then she had a cute little bag a cute little how cute it's so I got this nice from Island. yeah it's really yeah, nice i am trying on outfits for the wedding so i can't show you but we are going to my grandma's house now for iftar so i think that's the end of this vlog i'm gonna do one more ramadan vlog and that'll be it but thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye